going to speak about classification in the plant kingdom. We can divide plants into two main groups, flowering plants and non-flowering plants. Flowering plants are produced by seeds. Where, no. We can divide flowering plants into two main groups, gymnosperm and antigosperm. I'm going to speak about gymnosperm. They have small flower but no fruit. The seeds are together in cost, and most are gymnosperms are trees. This is an example of a gymnosperm. Who are you show it to? To the rest, not to me. This is an example of a gymnosperm tree plant. Yes. A pine tree. It's a pine tree. See, it has a good fruit. Having good fruit. No, it has a good fruit. It has a good fruit. Good. And has it got seeds? Mm -hmm. yeah. Where are the seeds? In cones. In cones. Together in cones. Very good. I speak about angiosperms. They have flowers and fruit. Flowers they reproduce. They re they reproduce, which are protect inside the fruit. Can you repeat that? Mm -hmm. No. Flowers produce. They flowers. They produce flowers and fruit. Ah, good. Flowers produce seeds which are protected inside the fruit. Which are protected inside the fruit. Good. This is an example for a geosperm. A geosperm. As you can see, a fruit. E in the fruit is in the, in the fruit. In the fruit. In the seeds. There are the seeds. There are the seeds. What plant is this one? Olive tree. It's an olive tree. Very good. Not flowering, but they're going to be used by seeds. Not flowering, but they're going to be used by seeds. Volume up. Not flowering, but they're going to be produced by seeds. Demand. Can you listen to him? To her? Can you hear her? Can you hear her? Yes or no? Can you hear Gemma? Yes, enough? Is that okay? Lema, speak up. Non -flowering. No, no, it's the only thing you use. Non flowering plants are produced by, by seeds. By seeds? No, by spores. By spores. We, we can divide the non flowering plants into main so groups, mosses and ferns. Mosses. There are small plants with leaf and rock. Three and the ground that they have leaves but, but no roots or stems. They reproduce this spores. This is an example. The mosses plant. As you can see, it hasn't got flower seeds. Flowers or seeds? No. Has it got leaves? No leaves? Ah, yes. Yes. <laughs> and roots? What do you think? Have they got roots? No roots. Roots. Well, they they have they have. I'm going to speak about. Where are you going to speak about? What are you going to speak about? I speak about ferns. They have been underground stems, the cells and big leaves they reproduce by by spores. This is an example for for ferns plant. I can see big can see I can see the big leaves. It has got big leaves. Very good. On the last group, have you finished? Very good. To speak about classification in the plant's kingdom. Mm, we can divide plants into main group, flowering plants and non-flowering plants. Flowering plants, we can reproduce, um, reproduce be, be, by, 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 by seeds. And non flowering plants, uh, we can reproduce by spores. Flowering plants can divide 
in two main groups, gymnosperms and gymnosperms. Gymnosperms and? G and gymnosperms. And gymnosperms. And can you speak gymnosperms? Gymnosperms, they have uh, small flowers but no fruit. There are, there are <coughs> seeds by together in cones. Almost, uh, almost, 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 almost. What do you mean? That most of the plants are? Trees? Almost, no. Uh, Stop it. Almost all gymnosperms are trees. Almost all gymnosperms are trees. For example, pine trees. Pine trees? Is this a pine tree? Uh, yes. Uh, this is an example of pine trees. Uh, flat. Uh, I, um, if I ha has, I, I, it has got. It has, it has got small flowers, but no fruit. Uh, there are roots underground. And geosperms, they have flowers and fruit. Flowers, they, they have flowers. Rapidius, no. Rapidius. Reproduce basis. Uh, have they got food? Yes, yes, they can. They've got flowers and food. Yeah? What else? Have they got seeds? Where are the seeds? The seeds and uh, the fruit protect the, the seeds. seeds. So they are inside the fruit. Well done. This is an example for a for an geosperms plant. This is an olive, olive tree. They have leaves, fruits, and seeds. Mm -hmm. And flowers. And, flowers as well. and where, where is the seed? Yeah, into, in, inside the... Inside the... Yeah. 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 The not flowering plant can divide two main groups, gnosis and ferns. I'm going to speak about ferns. I gnosis. Gnosis, they are small plants and they live on rocks, on trees, on the ground. It has got no fruit and no stem. But they reproduce for spores. They reproduce by spores. By spores. This is for example a gnosis plant. The they has got small leaves and no roots. I know, I know about speed first. They have teeth on the ground, stems and big leaves. They reproduce by spores. By spores. By spores. This is, for example, the first plant. It has got big leaves. Mm -hmm. Good. And Joanna, how do mosses absorb water if they haven't got any roots? Uh, how do they absorb the water through the leaves? Okay. And how do they reproduce? By spores. Have you seen this? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, and you? Uh, this is an example of a firm plant. Uh, it has got good leaves. And has it got roots? Yes. Little roots. A small. Small, small roots. And a stem? Yes. Mm. And where are the stems? Stems? And where are the stems? Uh, under, underground. Underground. Okay, very good. Are they thick or narrow? Small, small no. stems or thick stems? Big. Thick stems. Thank you. Well done. Yeah? Motors. They are a small ones which live on rocks, this and the ground. Uh, they have leaves but no roots. 
or stems. They reproduce by spores. Fair. Get a moment. Ah, this is an example for mothers. Okay. Have they got roots? Yeah. No. How do they reproduce? By by spore. Ah, uh, they got leaves. Yes. And how do they absorb water if they haven't got any roots? How can they absorb the water if they haven't got roots? How can they absorb the water if they haven't got roots through what? Through the leaves, through all the plants. They absorb water through all the plants. Good. We're going to speak about classification in the plants kingdom. We can divide plants into two main groups, gymnosperm and antiosperm. Are you sure about that? Plants can be divided into two main groups? Yes. Flowering plants and non flowering plants. Okay. We can divide um, flowering plants into two main groups gymnosperms and angiosperms. We speak about, we speak about um, gymnosperms. They, they have small flowers but not green. The seeds are almost in cones. Um, uh, uh, and gymnosperms are trees. I'm going to speak about angiosperms. They have flower and fruit, and the fruit protect the seed. Flowers produce seeds and the fruit protects the seeds inside the mm. fruit. This is an example of an angiomous fresh plant. Amore, 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 amore. Can I see, please? No, amore, amore. Can I see, please? We, we can divide non-flowering plants into two main groups, mosses and ferns. I'm going to speak about mosses. They they are small plants, small small plants which live on rocks, trees, and the ground. They have they have leaves, but no roots or stems. They they reproduce by spores. This is an this is an, an example of a moxie's plant. Joel, have they got roots? No. No? And how do they absorb water? How can um, they absorb the water if they have got any roots? Joel? Can anybody help him? How can the leaves through the leaves? Maybe. Michael, what do you think? Through the stems, through all the plants, all the plants absorb the water. All the plants absorb the water. Okay. And how do they reproduce, Joel? By spores. By spores. Spore. I'm going to speak about Has it got? Has this 
clangor sí Yes. <laughs> you may only get the, 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 the